please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up Raptors? Today is Wednesday, March 20th. I hope you guys had a wonderful week. We are officially halfway through, meaning that today we have advisory. Also, we have 1,200 minutes of school left until spring break. So keep up the hard work. You guys are doing truly amazing. We got this. Now on to the daily news. Admin updates with Kaylana. Today we are here with Miss Vela. She is talking about what we need to do to get a dress down day. Good morning, James Monroe staff and students. So I hear that everyone is looking to get a dress down day this week. Well, here's some of the things that it's gonna take. Make sure that you're coming in dress code every day. That you are wearing that polo shirt, your jeans have no holes and rips. Also, when you're out here at lunch, make sure you're picking up all your trash, you're staying off the grass, you're following the rules. So in order to earn something, you gotta be able to stick with the rules. Also, I'm looking for uh, conflict in the school, and how many people are not getting along, we have to go to mediation, we're having arguments, we're having fights, we're not being very nice to each other. All of those things contribute to whether or not you earn a dress down day this week. So make it a great week and we'll make a determination on Thursday and hopefully we'll have a dress down day on Bye Raptors! Solar Eclipse 2024. Miss Heck is selling Eclipse glasses the week before spring break, March 18th through the 22nd, during both lunches for $2 each. There will be an event during the school day on April 8th for all students who have purchased glasses to watch the solar eclipse. Hope to see you there, Raptors! Testing tips with Talia. Is chewing gum actually beneficial when testing? Studies have shown that chewing gum can enhance your memory. The process of chewing may increase the heart rate enough to boost the flow of oxygen to the brain, which would help you think better, scientists say. Today, we interviewed a seventh grader named Michaela. I asked them, what's your opinion on being able to chew gum while taking tests? Michaela. What grade are you in? Seven. Okay. And why do you think a student should or shouldn't be allowed to chew gum? I think that they should be able to chew gum during a test because it might help some students concentrate. Do you think that chewing gum helps concentrate while taking a test? Yes. Okay, thank you. Why should you eat breakfast prior to taking a test? A study that was carried out in the United Kingdom found that students that skipped breakfast did not do as well on standardized tests compared to those who ate a morning meal. Here are some studying tips. Test yourself, eliminate distractions, create flashcards, and take notes. Today, I interviewed a 7th grader named Noah. I asked them, how do you prefer to study? Who are we here with? Uh, Noah Oppenheim. Okay, and what grade are you in? 7th. Okay, what is one way that you study for a test? Uh, I review. Okay, and how is that helpful to you? It helps me remember what to put down on the test. Can sleep affect your test scores? Poor sleep impacts your memory, creativity, and logical reasoning. In other words, not sleeping enough impairs all the skills you need to perform well on a final exam. When students miss out on sleep, they have a tougher time paying attention and it is harder for their brains to commit new information to memory. Today, I interviewed a seventh grader named Dorothy. I asked, how many hours of sleep do you think that students should get prior to an exam? Who are we here with? Dorothy. Okay, what grade are you in? I am in seventh. Okay. Do you know how many hours of sleep that you get the next morning? Maybe six or eight. Okay. And in what way do you think that sleep can affect your Um, it's more hours of sleep, so I guess good. And if it's six hours, I might go down a little bit because I misclick something. Thank you. Can extended time on tests be beneficial to students with dyslexia? Yes, studies have shown that students that have dyslexia can benefit from more time while testing. Dyslexia is a learning difficulty that primarily affects the skills involved in accurate and fluent word reading and spelling. Good luck on your future tests!
Weird and Wacky Careers by Ariana C. Today's odd job is Professional Mourner. Salary, $30 to $120 per day. Idiom, not needed, but these traits are needed. Outgoing, confident, punctual, and respectful conversationalist. Also, being a good actor and being able to cry on command come in handy. Description, grief-stricken actors who work in a very specific niche, mourning at funerals. They can also comfort the family and friends of the one deceased and tell stories about them. Sources used are jobmonkey.com and wikipedia.org. Today we interviewed a 7th grader named Carlos. Carlos. What do you think a professional mourner does? Uh, I guess someone that just goes to funerals and is like a mourner and is professionally. Okay, do you think a professional mourner is a good job? I mean, if it's what you like to do, then I guess so, no. <laughs> okay, <laughs> um... Would you want to be a professional mourner? Why or why not? Nah, I would don't want to deal with, okay. with death like that. I'm good. Would you hire one? Probably not. See you, Raptors. Have a great day, Raptors.